Hi, it's the Texas Weekly Newsreel. State leaders started promoting the revolving water fund that would be created if voters approve a constitutional amendment on that issue next month. House Speaker Joe Strauss is making the rounds, as is Governor Rick Perry. If Texas is to remain the best place to live and to work and to grow your business, raise your family, we must ensure adequate supplies for generations have come of our water. The third annual Texas Tribune Festival put more than 150 opinion leaders, policy wonks, and office holders in front of Texans to talk about ideas and issues, including Texas First Lady Anita Perry, who made some news in a conversation with Evan Smith. So, so when women say to you, Mrs. Perry, you're the First Lady, you understand that um, this is an important issue and that women's rights are an important issue. And you know, we hope that you'll stand with us. Your view is, governor's got it right, administration has it right. Well, it is, it, it is a, and that's really difficult for me, Evan, because I see it as a woman's right. I, you know, if they want to do that, that is their decision. They have to live with that decision. Mrs. Perry, I want to be sure that you didn't just inadvertently make news. Are you saying that you believe that, that no. abortion is a, is a woman's right to make that choice? It is not mine. It is not something that I would say for them. Um, do you believe that the state is attempting to say for them and that if the governor and his administration had its way, it would say for women that it was not I their I think right? it goes back to the states. Yeah. And Texas has decided that, no, that is not what we want in the states. Right. But your personal point of view is that it's a person's decision within the law to make that choice. Well, I don't really think that's making news. I mean, I think that's, you know, yeah, that could be a woman's right. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like it's a man's right if he wants to have some kind of procedure. And finally, State Senator Wendy Davis made her announcement this week. It's on. Because our future is brightest when it's lit by everyone's star. And that's why today I am proud to announce my candidacy to be the 48th governor of this great state. And that's the newsreel.